Our next statue is Irene and Plutus, which translates as peace and wealth. And this has got a date of 375 BC to 371. And we're looking at a marble copy of a bronze original by a sculptor called Cephisodotus, who was the father of Praxiteles. Now, the fact that this was a bronze original is highly unusual for a female statue. Usually marble is used because it better conveys uh, the paleness of a female that is associated with them spending more time indoors via their domestic role than males. But here bronze has been used for the narrative and the abstract meaning that peace is the mother of wealth. It also shows how in times of peace, bronze can now be used for artwork and not simply weapons. Now this group statue might look really familiar to you. In fact, it's influenced later representations of the Virgin Mary and the baby Jesus. It also influenced another one of the statues on our syllabus, Hermes and Dionysus. As I mentioned, Praxiteles was the son of Cephisodotos, and that statue too has the small baby that is interacting with the elder god or goddess. And the proportions are quite interesting in both because the baby has not got the correct head size. You'd expect it to have a bit of a larger head considering its age, but it's more like a shrunken adult in terms of its proportions. And I think that Cephisodotus and Praxiteles with the baby Dionysus has done this firstly because they may not have a, a baby as a model to look at, but also to show that actually this is not just a baby, it's a god, and therefore it's not got the proportions of a mortal. Some other aspects of the composition worth noting. We can tell that the statue is in a relaxed pose because we can see the bent knee coming through the peplos at the bottom. If the drapery revealed a bit more of the body, we'd be able to tell if the statue was in contraposto, uh, but we can't see very much of the hip area to tell if they are tilted or not, but you could certainly make a case for it being likely. She's very heavily draped, which makes her maternal. The piece is the mother of wealth idea, remember? But the fact that we can see breasts and legs is hinting at the feminine form. And over time, we're seeing more of the female bodies on show. We also get some pattern provided from the drapery as well. There are catenary folds in the chest area, and they contrast with those more columnar folds on the bottom half.